Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to set up a ice pod tank. Um, first you want to know, first, there, there he is, there's one right there. Um, what do you need, what you need to know is, um, you have to get a, a minimum of five gallons. <laughs> Look at him right there. Hey buddy. You have to have a minimum of five gallon tank. Alright, I'll close it so. Um, minimum of five gallon tank. Um, what you need to put in there is, um, pounding soil. It has to be no pesticides. Uh, you could put a little bit of sand too. Um, but mostly put eco earth and um, pounding soil mix. Um, put in lots and lots and lots of dead woods from the outside. Um, but make sure it doesn't have any other bugs. Make sure it doesn't have any. It's make sure it doesn't hasn't been sprayed with um, with other pesticides as well. You can see me right there. Hello. Make sure it hasn't been sprayed with any pesticides, or and make sure it doesn't have any other bugs in it either. The only bugs that's going to need to be, that can be in there is Versailles Gamer, and that's it. Um, what they like to eat is, um, rotten fruit, rotten fruits, um, rotten vegetables, fecal manner. <laughs> you could put some rum casting in there, or you could put some, you could put your, um, crab poopies in there too. They like to have a crab poopies in there too, and they like to eat that. Um, they like to be in um, some, and moss too, so you can put moss in there also, and keep it really humid in there. Um, keep the humidity like at 80 or almost in the 290, and heat. They like to be in like 28 Celsius, which that is around in the 80s and the 85 percent mark. The substrate, I mean, the substrate has to be like this deep. You don't need it very, very deep, but it has to be like this deep. Um, in about like probably a week or two, you start seeing babies and stuff. Look at this little guy. He's just chilling. <laughs> What I have in here is cork bark and some dead leaves from a plant. I have banana peel. <laughs> I also put some banana in there. I also put in um I also put in um uh put in crushed oyster shell. The cr the um the crushed oyster shell is um it's it's a calcium source and it's good for their exoskeleton too. About the same, about the same, almost about the same hair as the hermit crabs, but there, but differences, differences that they run stuff in on. Um, so, when you're start doing a starting colony, you could do like um, twenty or to twenty or thirty of them. I got thirty of them in here. But they all starting to started to hide and everything. <laughs> uh, this nice big one right here. Isn't it cute? Huh? <laughs> well, he's just resting right now. Yep. 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 Put in lots of dead leaf litter, and this is this part of a dead plant right here. <laughs> I put chia seeds in there, and then some of the sprouts are growing too. They like to eat roots also. <laughs> I have a mixture of sand and eco earth. <laughs> I have this wood piece in the way, so, um, I don't really like to put it in there, I'm not going to put it in there, I'm not going to put it in there, I'm not going to put it in there, i
humidity is about between 80 and 90, and heat is about between, it's been, you know, it's about 80, 80, you know. I'm going to go guy to make sure it's nice and humid in there for you. There's a rather little mix. He's just chilling. <laughs> I'm gonna spray in there for you a little bit. Make sure it doesn't get too dry in there. Uh, yeah, if I probably, I would see you probably go, you'll probably go in somewhere if I spray and watch this. Well, he's just chillaxing. Yeah, he's just chilling. Mm-hmm. <laughs>